to play that kind of role as a dream gig, genuinely, you know, people might know me from shows as, you know, um, but to get to play someone very still, very controlled, but aggressive and, and intimidating, but also there's empathy like towards Teddy, hopefully, because he's quite vulnerable. It's something I've been trying for the Zen. The trick to it is not to think about your breathing coming from up here. <coughs> style is a combination, of course, of brewing costume department, brewing makeup department, and then I chip in a couple of ideas. I think because the writing's so clear, the image of Teddy came together really well, and and, and that's the joy of doing TV, is that the experts are, are all there to help the process to create the character. A friend of mine gave me a book. He told me it's got a lot of answers to the big stuff, you know? It's called Papillon. That's about this boy wanting to escape prison. And I think what the book's trying to say is that the prison was in his head, so he couldn't ever escape it. I think Teddy read Papillon many times and then had to reread it many times. But I think Teddy understood Papillon very well and it obviously had a massive effect on him because it's the first thing he really mentions to, to Max in series two when he comes out. You didn't belong in there, Maxie. But when I look at you now, I don't know if you belong out here either. Teddy is a terrible driver, and I, I did love that in the script as well. But you know, for someone who is 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 fairly calm and capable in terms of intimidation and dealing with confrontation in different different settings, he can't drive. You know, it's, it's a great piece of writing for me as well. Like he's in the shadow. Teddy's in the shadow of his brother all the time. And therefore, over time, over years and years and years, um, the resentment and the... Well, I, I don't know if jealousy is the right word, but he's trying to get affirmation from his dad. He's trying to get love from his dad. And so that scene where he can't drive and his brother's picture's there and the sectarian songs are going is both funny and heartbreaking, hopefully. People live here for the quiet. And now they can't sleep. They should try meditation. If you get it right, then a brass band wouldn't wake you up. Can I have a look around? Have you got a search warrant? I could get one. Surely we don't have to go down that road. You know, I've done a lot of different things now, and Gary and Howard and Eddie and the A Word. To get to play a very still psychopath who's very troubled internally, but has also got great levels of empathy is, is literally the dream. When I got this part, I was like, can't really say to you enough, like how privileged I am to get to play this kind of part. Amazing. Thank you, Neil.